What's going on YouTube? This is your boy J Money Good coming at you with another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video. And in today's video, guys, we got some training coin methods for you that do take a little bit of luck, but then we also have one that provides a fail safe. All right, guys. So do me a favor, look over, smack the thumbs up, comment on the video, and be subscribed to the channel. Once we reach 235 subscribers, we're going to be giving away the card of your choice if you win the giveaway, if you're my subscriber and you comment on one of my videos, guys. All right. So smack the thumbs up. It helps me. All right, guys. So we are getting into arbitrage methods man that's where it seems to be right now because there were certain packs that came in the store with this promo set guys all right and what i've been doing is i've been buying the 94 legends for about 75,000 coins on ps4 probably about 60 65,000 coins on xbox you just have to look for the cheapest training value that you could buy and then what you guys want to do is you want to roll them in the campus hero set now that if you do the campus heroes method you're just hoping to pull a 95 and if you don't pull a 95 then you just go on and you buy more training and then you roll it again and what you guys can do is you stack up your 85 players and then if you don't wind up pulling one you can always create a 95 overall for yourself to create more training or to sell off i suggest you sell it off if you didn't pull a 95 by that point okay guys um so let's see how much i'm um, up i am up about 400,000 coins i think from doing this method so far and now i've noticed that my pools for my 95s have started to drop off a little bit now you guys could also be re-rolling the uh the, the team of the year packs through the, Ar the arbitrage method but what you guys could also do is you could be creating the playoffs card through the arbitrage method it just depends on which way you want to go okay me uh personally i roll a little bit of the the super bowl promo packs and i do roll a little bit of the campus heroes okay guys i feel like if my my campus hero packs get stale what i do is i'll go and i'll roll a super bowl pack all right see as you can see they're going for eighty thousand coins guys but the goal really if you really want to make coins is to try and get them for around seventy five thousand coins now the prices on these should start going up eventually all right guys so it's not a bad idea if you want to grab your training now and have it for friday all right guys because remember friday a new part to the promo is going to be coming so it doesn't look like i could get it for the price that's desired but i'm just going to grab two of them anyway all right now i could have used something i could have used one of the the um campus heroes that i created guys but i feel like that's kind of like my fail safe in this part of the method all right so like i said you could either roll um five super bowl packs and the 87s you're gonna put into the put into the playoff promo pack and the 85s from the campus heroes and you guys uh, if you pull anything higher, you could sell it off and make coins that way. All right. But it's if you don't get a good pool, then you have something to fall back on. You could add it to the playoff set. Okay. Now, me personally, I'm just doing the small arbitrage method. And I've been rolling with the campus heroes. Like I said, I do like to roll the random uh, 86 plus pack. But I felt like I have the most luck with this. Okay, guys. Now, these training values are not going to last. Okay. So if you're able to create an arbitrage method, and this is one of the things that Gut Fox talks about, um, some of it is based on luck, okay? Now, if you do the playoffs way, uh, where you guys, you roll like seven of these, and I, I don't know how many 87s go into the playoffs pack, you roll that Super Bowl pack, okay? There we go, we got our 95 right off the rip, guys. So I, I'm gonna be able to sell this off. Now, anything extra that I have is gonna be straight profit. So if I happen to pull another 95 out of here, I would have doubled my coins, okay? But even if not, guys, I still would have a large amount to add to my next campus hero that I'm going to create, okay? So that's the fail safe for the campus hero method because you can just create them. You're eventually going to pull 95 if you guys take your time and roll these, okay? Because training is at such a cheap value now that it's hard not to make coins off it, all right? So we're going to be able to sell that 95. Now, I also, also, I could just, I could quick sell my 95 and keep rolling and then keep my 85s as well and then build a campus hero set and then create it all and, and, then, and then sell it off that way, guys. Because I create the fullback, okay? The fullback seems to sell 
for the most, but some of those Campus Hero cards sell for more than others do. Just remember that. So you want to check the prices on some of these Campus Heroes before you get involved with it, okay, guys? But there's just so many different ways you guys can go. It's completely up to you. Like I said, you guys, I, now I'll pull, um, I'll pull a couple of these packs since I already won with my uh, with my campus hero i'll be able to sell that off and and sometimes you guys can pull 95s out of this i happen to get an 86 what is which is definitely the worst pool that you could get out of there uh 86s i don't think they go into the playoff set so if you pull an 86 overall you might take an l on that okay so we got an 88 overall okay guys so i'll show you what i'm talking about with the playoff set real quick now now what you guys want to do is start off with about seventy thousand training which if you buy those uh, 94s for 75,000, uh, it's a very good ratio and it shouldn't cost you that much, but you could go back and you could go back to the, uh, the, the launch set right here and you could create the 95 overalls through that, as you can see, 87s and 85s, okay guys? Now also with your 85 overalls, if you just wanna do the Campus Hero set and you wanna try and do some of your 85s, remember we do have this Zero Chill Ghost of Madden set where it only takes three 85s and then purchase yourself some 80s. Now these sell for about 10,000 coins, okay guys? Your worst pool you get goes for 20,000 coins. But remember the Daniel Jones is in this pack. Uh, the same with the DK Metcalf you can get out of this pack because it's Ghost of Madden Future, guys, all right? So you can pull some higher overall cards out of here. You could also try and create these Ghost of Madden uh, past, okay? But if you're really gonna get into something, I suggest the Ghost of Madden present because the Alvin Kamara is in this set, guys, all right? You can get pretty lucky with this. Now, I did pull an 88. Now, this is with my extra training, all right? Now, I really I really don't, don't wanna get into this part of the method too much. This is just take a risk on top of a risk, but I mean, it is what it is. Why not? Uh, we don't need this flacco, man. And now we're going to have to buy 383. It should cost us around. They should only cost you about a thousand coins, guys. Do not purchase it from this menu. Go and filter down in the auction house. But since we made our coins back right away, and we still even have 17,000 training left, guys, we still have extra training. I'm going to go and try and pull another 95 after this. Now, I can always sell off those extra 85s that I do get. Okay, guys, I'm just showing you a little something extra that you could be doing with all this, all right? Now, there's so much arbitrage going on. It is not going to last, guys. All right, and those packs in stores, they're definitely worth it. They had mentioned a limited that was supposed to come out. I have not seen any limited come out in, in the game yet, guys. So if you're trying to wait on the limited, I suggest you do. Now, also, if you guys are trying to take your time and have patience with this method, with, the, with this part of the promo, it, it really is the key, man. Because remember, through your solos, guys, you're going to be able to earn first downs, but you're also going to be able to earn those two free 95 overall players. So what you guys could do if you're trying to grind that, definitely scoop up some cheap training now. Go earn your free 95 overall players, guys. All right, and then add them to the set and then finish the bosses. That'll save you a lot of coins through this. Okay, so we pulled a 91 overall, which isn't too bad. I mean, it's not the worst that you can get out of that pack. It should sell for about like 30 to 40,000 coins. All right, guys, but you know, that's just something extra if you want to get in there and try and get the Alvin Kamara. If you wind up getting some good pulls, okay, guys? Um, I really should have just kept pulling my 85s because you're not going to win on every campus hero pool that you guys do you're not going to get a 95 every time you do it okay so you want to build up those campus heroes to have your fail safe ready and build your campus hero player guys okay so that's really the best methods right now as of training wise now another way you guys could go today is you could concentrate on building the masters you could pretty much snipe those masters for what it cost you could sell off the master card and his power up and get those 95s okay figure out which ones you want to keep i don't suggest you keep all of them if you're going to get involved in that method guys i suggest that maybe you keep like one of them and then quick sell the rest of them go in and flip the training and add it to the boss player and you could get a couple 95s for free either that or if you just want to sell off the training and keep the boss guys you should be able to get the boss for relatively uh, cheap right now. They weren't really going for too much, okay? Now, William the Refrigerator Perry is definitely going to be the best 
uh, defensive tackle in the game now, guys. Now, I do run big homie um, Fletcher Cox, guys. And he is just, he's just a, a ruthless run stopper, guys. He stops every run. But being the fact that the fridge is 80 speed, guys, I definitely have to put him in on the squad. Uh, the dude is a savage. I mean, with that type of speed, guys, at defensive tackle, like, I've seen right ends with slower speed than big fridge, man. I mean, so, uh, he was one of my favorite players in the 80s to watch growing up. All right, all right, so I didn't get a chance to pull another 95 overall, but as you've seen, I did pull one, guys. All right, now, remember, you could be creating the playoff cards. You could be creating the ball sets. It all depends on which way you can go, guys, but there is a little bit of coin making method through this process okay all right so we got our 91 so remember this is profit as well that's 55,000 coins now that did cost me what an 87 and 385s and 381s so i kind of came out on top of that one i mean i i'm kind of I, i'd say i broke even about with that one right there okay guys now he does have a card uh i think he has a playoff card or a higher overall card than that 91 that's Darius, okay so we already have 11 cards ready for us to start our other our other part of the method. We're gonna sell this off, as you can see, for 150, guys. So we only paid we paid 160 for our training. We're gonna get 140 back, plus these extra 85s. And I did fool around a little bit, guys. Now if we would have pulled, uh, and if we would have wound up pulling another 95. That really would have been profitable. We would have doubled our profit, okay, guys? And there will be rounds where you can pull double 95s. Okay, so right now, we are up about 300,000, about 400,000 coins, I would say, that we're at, guys, okay? So this method is working, and I'm using the Campus Heroes method, but there are, there are other ways that you could take. And remember, the fail-safe is just to build up the Campus Heroes and then, then trade them in and then create the fullback. I feel like he sells for the most, but check the prices, guys, because you could be on at a different time than me, all right? This is your boy, J Money Good. Do me a favor, smack the thumbs up, guys, all right? Now, you might be able to find a cheaper tracing uh, tra training ratio as well, guys. Now, like, I like 94s, but some of you might like 95s for 100K, all right? But usually, I was getting these at 75,000 coins before I made this video, and that's where I like to be at is, like, 75, okay? Because then it's only going to cost me 150 as opposed to 160 so that way if i make the 95 everything else is extra okay add in that extra 10,000 coins on minus ea tax does kind of take away from my part of the method a little bit guys and it's it's not as profitable so if you can get them for a little bit cheaper i mean uh it's just up to you what you guys are doing all right like i said there's just so many different ways you could go you could also check halfback and you could check middle linebacker because middle linebackers aren't key but also guys now is the time to be building your team if your team is down and you need the training to power up your squad guys power up your team today do not wait guys this training is not going to stay this low i promise you now also remember you could be buying these for eighty thousand coins putting them back on the market, listing them at 100,000 coins, and you could be making 10,000 per uh, 94 that you sell. Remember, it's gonna take about an hour to sell. All right, guys, uh, just take your time because remember, you can lose coins with this method as well. Arbitrage is a method that is based on luck. If your luck doesn't pan out, then you're not gonna make coins, okay? Now, with the if you build the playoff cards and you start off with 70,000 training, guys, you're not really gonna take a loss there. I didn't show you that method because it's a little bit longer, but I explained it well enough to you. If you have any questions, look at 74,000 coins, and I'm not gonna get it, I already know. And I already did not get it. I thought I got it, man. I'm like, I got it, and I didn't get it. <laughs> that sucks. 78,000 coins, and we're not gonna get it. Let me go on. I hate that little bit of a glitch that it gives you. Like, there's just a little bit of a pause in between menus. And it's such a pain in the ass, man. It makes me miss so many, like, really good snipes. And then I'll click in the compare. And, oh, God, guys. Oh, shit. They're fighting on TV like crazy. But, uh, yeah, bro. So, I just wanted to drop this method to you. Remember, this is a method that's based on luck. If you do the playoff set, guys, there's a little less luck needed there because of the failsafe of the 95 overall playoff player that you select. Make sure that you guys sell, uh, choose the best one to sell. You remember, for that, you're just going to buy some of these. 
and then you're gonna buy some of the campus heroes i'm just doing the campus heroes you could go either way with this method guys or you could concentrate on building the bosses you could even be building the team of the year through the arbitrage method guys all right so this is your boy j money good stay up with your game i hope this helped you out as always much love peace